Hey, what is going on guys? x Fusion here, and today I want to talk about everything I don't like about Black Ops 4 Zombies. Now, I made a couple videos in the past talking about things I don't like, and, you know, the reason why I make things I don't like and rather than things I do like about the, uh, you know, the, the game itself is because the things I do like are, there's a lot, trust me. I think Black Ops 4 Zombies is overall a success, a success, hard to say that word, um, in the, for the most part. But there are some things holding it back a little bit that I want to talk about. And going over the things I like doesn't really get anything done because, yes, you know, it's nice to, you know, compliment the developers and stuff like that. But when you when you acknowledge issues about the game, you're, they're more likely to get fixed. You know what I'm saying? So if I just keep saying good stuff and I don't say anything bad, the developers aren't really going to know what the fans think is good and bad. And that's kind of why it's, it's, you know, constructive criticism. I'm not trying to bash the game or anything because, for the most part, the pros outweigh the cons in this game completely. Um, even in multiplayer and blackout. I am loving black ops 4. I think it's incredible uh, Tons of tons of amazing things about it, but I do want to go over some of the things that I don't like about the zombies experience um, As it is so First things first. Let's get it out of the way because I've already made a video on it and I don't want to you know beat the dead horse or whatever um, with the perk system, there's a couple things with the perk system. I'm not a fan of but instead of me complaining about things I've already complained about let me just try to you know in, enact solutions to fix the system so first things first one thing that I think is very important is don't have the perks show up on the screen unless you purchase them that's just I, I still don't like how but this is this is a nitpick because as you can see the perks are on the screen the whole game no matter what even if you don't have them just the perks that you have on the map will show up on your screen and that just adds more stuff to your screen that gets in the way of actual gameplay which if you look at like Black Ops 3 there's a lot less stuff on your screen at the time even Black Ops 2 there's like nothing on your screen it's just like the round counter your ammo and your points and that's like basically it it's nice it's nice and clean you don't have to deal with all this stuff but Black Ops 4 just kind of throws on a bunch of shit on the screen and some of it's necessary to know your specialist weapons ready that's necessary to have there your shield I do like how your shields there um, the gumballs don't really, yeah, you gotta know which gumball you're using for which slot, so yes, that makes sense. The round counter, obviously the points, obviously the health is fine, but the perks, just, they look out of place. They should be moved over to the top, um, either the top left or the bottom left, doesn't matter, just move them over somewhere and don't have them be showing up unless you actually purchase them. So obviously, just like in previous Call of Duty, when you purchase the perk, it'll pop up and then it'll be there, you know what I'm saying? And what this allows for is it allows for it to not only look like traditional zombies, which would be nice, but it also just keeps things off the screen, keeps it less mushy, keeps it less obnoxious. And if you want to know what perks you have on the map, maybe you forget, let it let it so when you press the back button, let it so the perks pop up then and you can see what perks are on your map and exactly what positions. So it has the words cola, um, soda, tonic, whatever, and then the different god names for the ether story. So... Like, if, I'm just saying, if I was a developer, I wouldn't even have done this perk system in the first place. I would have just had as many perks available on the map as I so feel fit, like maybe seven or eight. And then I would make you have to, you know, pick out of those eight or so on the map. And it would be different for each map, keeping them unique between each map. Um, but they already enacted the system, and I, I like it to some extent, but I also don't to another extent. But since it's already there, I'm not going to be saying they need to get rid of it because they can't. It's not something they can just, you know, up and get rid of. Um, also, for the Ether story, I would like for if you put on a perk that is already, you know, an original perk to have that perk jingle in on the perk machine or to maybe have it so the original perk machine shows up. I don't think they would do that, but I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just dreaming here, I'm dreaming here. Um, and then with the perk system also, they need to add some sort of a speed cola and jug remedy. I always said the, the every time you pack punch a gun, um... Not every time you pack a bunch. Yeah, every time you pack a bunch of gun increases the speed of the reload as well as the damage it does. So that kind of the remedy for speed cola. And then for every perk you have, you get plus 25 health or 25 HP. That would also be really nice, and that would be a remedy for jug. And it, you know, we would need to have the jug problem. Maybe they could even put it back down to 150 health for regular because if you were to add in the system, then it would be kind of actually kind of fair, and it all works out in the end. Um, also, have more maps give ways to get more than four perks because not that, you know, I, I need more than four perks because I suck or something. It's just it's nice to have more variety in perks. It's nice to have more 
um, options than just the original four. I mean, there's like 16 perks in this game or something like that. So it is nice to have more than just the four that are available on your map. So I do like how nine gave you a way to get a fifth perk, but unfortunately nine, you can only get it once, and then if you go down, it's, it's lost forever. It would be nice if it even showed up on your screen because this doesn't even show up on your screen. The perk that you get, so it's kind of dumb. Um, but I wish every map had something at least to get one extra perk or in some way, shape, or form. It would be nice if every map had something like that available. But that is that. Next up, obvious thing: blue screening. They need to fix the blue screening problems. That's just ridiculous. I, I ridiculous. Next, the zombies bleeding out they should not have the zombies bleed out they should have it so you know they can stay on as long as they need because what the problem that this causes it just causes so many problems and i don't under honestly i don't understand what their thought process is i don't know if it's just something they can't fix or something they're working on at the moment because not only does it make it really really obnoxious to do easter eggs on solo or even just do easter eggs with anybody it's just it makes easter eggs more obnoxious to do not harder just more obnoxious to do to the point where you don't even want to do them because it's just annoying. Plus, going to the bathroom, you know, when people have to go places and they want to hold a zombie. That just becomes completely complicated now because the zombie dies out on its own. It's just, it's something they need to fix and it's something they could easily fix and they really have to do that. Another thing, the boss zombies. We need to talk about the boss zombies. The dogs specifically. I have no problem with the dogs, the way they attack, how, you know, harmful they are. I'm fine with that. But what? Because, you know, they obviously nerfed it recently. Actually, they nerfed it like a day or two after launch. It was really bad at launch. But I'm fine with, you know, how much damage they deal, how much damage you have to do to them. That's fine. But the amount the dogs spawn in on regular zombie rounds is ridiculous. They should not be spawning in that much on regular zombie rounds. I, like, I, honestly, when I'm playing the map, I'm like, what the fuck is happening? I'm like, this is ridiculous. Blood of the Dead and Classified, this happens. And I don't understand what their thought process is to make it. It does not make it harder. It makes it more annoying. It makes it... You know, just frustrating because you're just chilling in a train and then you see four dogs spawn at once. Now, first of all, it should never be four at once. It should be at most two at once. Um, on the on the special rounds, I don't really care. If you want four, zombie, four dogs on a special round, that's fine because it's just, just the dogs on that round. So it's not that big of a deal. But when you're with the zombies, do not make more than four at a time. Make it two at a time at most and don't have them becoming concurrent within the like rounds just randomly. Have at the beginning of every now and then, at the beginning of a round, just like under Reese or any other map that had dogs, and have two of them, two, two dogs come, maybe in the beginning, maybe two later on in the round, and then that's it. Do not overdo it. When you overdo it, it makes it annoying and it's obnoxious. Same thing for 9 and Classify, but in a little bit of a, not 9 and Classify, 9 and Voyage, there is way too many spawning of special zombies. Like, it's it feels like exo zombies in terms of the way that they just spawn way too many special zombies in. Like, I don't understand why they think it's so awesome to see a million special zombies all over the place. We want regular zombies to fight against, and every now and then we like to have a special zombie to fight against because it makes it more challenging. But we don't want to be spanned with the special zombies. It does not make it harder because, honestly, you can take them down pretty easily. It just makes it more obnoxious and just frustrating. So they need to do something with that severely. Another thing, the Easter egg quests, they're not terrible, but from what I've seen, I haven't even done them myself yet, but from what I've seen, some of them are pretty tedious, I'm not going to lie. Some of them have steps that kind of are a little too far beyond, far beyond. And Milo was complaining the other day that they actually changed Easter egg steps. Now, the problem with that is how severely they changed it, I'm not too sure, but I'm he was pissed. So I'm pretty sure, like, the thing is, um, you know, YouTubers make guides, right? Easter egg guides. Now those guides are somewhat invalid because part of it is wrong because they changed it. And the YouTubers are not going to make redo a whole guide that they did because that those guides take a long ass time to make. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they just didn't make one and they just maybe put in the comments how to fix it. Or some of them probably didn't even put in the comments how to fix it. So now doing Easter eggs myself because I got to look them up, it's going to be harder because I'm not going to know exactly what to do because you got all these problems that, um, you know, are clear with the game um that's really all that i have to say problem wise honestly make the ui look a little nicer make it unique between each map that'd be nice too giving it actual theme to it other than that black ops 4 zombies is incredible the maps are incredible the atmosphere is incredible the soundtrack's incredible the guns yeah, that is one thing the weapon variety can be a little meh I don't know, I feel like there's just not enough guns in Black Ops 4 overall, it's not that it's in zombies specifically, but I feel like multiplayer does not have much guns, I mean he has two shotguns, like that's just not much at all. They need to get more variety in weaponry, and since it's zombies, they might as well just add in more throwback weapons, I mean they already did add a few, um, I wonder why they don't have the blackout throwback weapons, like they have a few of them, but 
The Galil and the MP40 are in blackout, so I don't get why those aren't in zombies. They should be. Um, at least the Galil and the MP40, they should be on the Ether maps at least. Uh, maybe they could add more like the Commando or something like that in the future. I just I think they need more classic weapons just to give that classic feel back. Which it does have, it just needs more of it, I think, personally. And one last thing to finish up the video, they need to buff some of the Wonder Weapons. Now, not all of them, I think a lot of them are really, really good. The Voyage of Despair Wonder Weapon, the Kraken is very, very good. Uh, the Nine uh, Death of Orion is pretty damn good. Uh, but Classifies Wonder Hell is okay, not amazing, they need, to, they need to buff it. But the Acid Gat and the Magma Gat, more than anything, need to be buffed insanely. Now, they're not bad, but they're just not that good. And they're not good for Wonder Weapon... You know, for what Wonder Weapon should be. For what the Acid Gat was previously, it should be a lot better than it is in this game. Actually, no, last but not least, I have one more thing. PhD Slider, give us zero explosive damage, or at least near zero explosive damage, because right now it decreases explosive damage by a little bit, but not by enough. Not by nearly enough that it should to actually make it feel like it's actually doing somewhat of a use when you're in situations. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you don't like about Black Ops 4 Zombies in the comment section below. I will see you guys in my next one. Peace out.